Another funeral, another victim of Ebola, this time in Guinea. The disease has now claimed almost five and a half thousand lives. While it's not clear how this victim contracted it, a group of scientists have identified a common source, primates. They've developed a highly contagious vaccine containing antigens they hope will stop the spread between humans and animals. We're coming from a human aspect because we want to prevent them, gorillas being a, a transmission source into humans. And the, the conservationists, including, say, a World Wildlife Fund, are working from a conservation aspect because it's such a threat to the survival of these animals. Fruit bats are permanent hosts to the Ebola virus and can indirectly infect humans through the food chain. Bushmeat is a vital free source of protein that keeps many poor families alive. Periodically, maybe they'll touch some fruit, saliva goes onto fruit, it drops onto the floor, a gorilla picks it up, or a chimpanzee, and it, it kills them. They then get taken back to a village, they are butchered, and now you have a potential outbreak of Ebola. Jarvis and his colleagues still need to conduct clinical trials before the viral vector can be used in the ape population. Despite the rapid spread of the disease across West African countries, time might be on their side. The current virus now that's causing the, the outbreak in Western Africa has only changed uh, by about 3% from the one that was causing the disease back in 2004. So I don't think we need to be worried that this is a rapidly mutating virus that's evading the immune response. Reducing the threat of Ebola crossing over to humans has proved one of medicine's biggest challenges in decades. But removing apes from the transmission chain could be a solution that will save lives.